Hey dudes, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just thought I'd do a quick video to show you uh, and give you a quick overview of the new Hot Toys Fenix Shan release that I received today from DP Toys Collectibles on Facebook. Um, they are a UK seller that um, uh, links with a Hong Kong seller and the service so far for me that I've had from them, I've had about six or seven figures in the last sort of four or five months has been brilliant. I mean, this came within three days of paying for it. Uh, no um, income tax, income tax, income sort of taxes, you know, sort of from um, customs, etc. So it was a, yeah, brilliant service. So happy with Dan and the team. Um, I've got Cad Bane coming tomorrow. I've already done Costco Reeves and King Shark this week. Uh, yeah, it's been, yeah, uh, collections changed quite a lot in the last sort of, um, week or so, uh, I've explained it in the King Shark video, but I've just sold my, um, or I am selling to fund these sort of releases, my troopers that I had. Um, I had a variety of different troopers, but uh, I was running out of room and also wanted to have a bit more variety with my figures, because a lot of the troopers are the same. Well, they're not the same, but you know what I mean. They end up being a little bit more statuesque at the back. Um, and I'm in the 501st, so you know, I should love Imperial stuff, but I had to make a decision, decision about uh, my collection and how I wanted it go. And I decided that th that would be the best way of selling it, sort of sell to buy, which has always been my motto anyway. Um, and you know, the, the bottom module case will now be a bit more sort of DC, um, you know, Peacemakers come in and you know, and I've got some horror and I want to pick up Rocky and sort of Stallone Rocky and, and stuff like that. So. You know, it's just one of those things that I've decided to sell the troopers, just fun things and have a bit more room, which I'm really happy with because I think I've made the right decision. Um, but going back to this, this figure is phenomenal. Um, the head sculpt itself is 10 out of 10. Uh, it just looks absolutely amazing. The um, ponytail is wired, but the head sculpt, like Costco Reeves, are... I mean, Hot Toys are absolute on fire at the moment. I can't see anything wrong with it. Um, obviously, I'm shooting under the lights and with the iPhone, but I think even in hand, it looks even better. The, it's coming across a little bit here, a little bit sort of yellowy, sort of a bit more, yeah, just a bit more too warm, the, the sculpt compared to what it looks like. Um, one thing I would say, and there's a few collectors that have already mentioned it already, is that the um, uh, trigger hand is a right bastard to get on. Um, it took me a little while to uh, do it, and you can see it's still not going around the, the trigger. So just take your time with that because it is a right git. And uh, it was uh, a bit frustrating, and I'm quite clumsy with my stuff, so luckily it was a, it's quite a strong you know, the hand is quite flexible and the, the trigger's quite strong, but if that was something that was a little bit more fragile, I think I would have been struggling a lot with that. Um, so that's one little gripe that I have. Um, I have not decided to put the head sculpt, up, the helmet on rather on, because again, being quite clumsy, I don't want to scratch the sculpt. And, you know, I did sort of try to attempt it and it was a right git. It was all right, bastard. So. Uh, just, just not not in that way, but I think it was more that I was scared to scratch the sculpt because it's a very tight fit. So obviously you guys, have, some people might have ordered two, um, but I have decided not to pose with that anyway. So I just didn't want the hassle of trying to get it on and off. Yeah, but just comes with some hands, uh, the knife that uh, goes in the back of the gun, but very loosely, so I won't even use that. That would just go in the sandwich bags with all the other accessories. Uh, some credits, I think they are small hands, and the drink, which I will pose in a bit, and then one of the another blaster. I'm not going to go too in depth. I know you can take that off, and you can see the mechanical stomach stuff, but again, I won't ever use that. But you know, for me, this is uh, such has such good uh, presence. Uh, you know, sort of with the head sculpt, etc. I'm just trying to get in there a little bit more, but I, I mean, you can see how good that is. She looks absolutely stunning. 
you know, another another great release from Hot Toys. Um, and I'm just gonna, this is the pose I'm, I like, but you know, I'm gonna be a bit obvious and I wanna pose her with um, the Boba Fett. So I am going to just put a quick cut in there and then show you what she's gonna be like, finally posed in the Munch Cave. And here we are all posed up. Um, look, I know a lot of people are gonna do this pose, um, but I think for me, this was the one that I, as soon as I saw that they're gonna release Fennec Shad, and then I bought, uh, to be honest, one of the reasons why I bought the Bob on the on the um, throne was this pose. So, okay, it won't, might not stay here for years, you know, like this, but I think in the meantime, I think it's got so much presence, especially because the head sculpts on both of these figures are unbelievable. So, I mean, if you look at it like that, it looks such a cool display. Um, it's probably, it's gonna go in the middle there next to like Mando and Soko and, and all that sort of stuff. And I've got Costa and Bo-Katan and I've got Cad Bane coming tomorrow. So I will do like a, a, a sort of collection video soon. I'm just not completely ready yet. I've got a few things from customizers coming in before I do that. I'd rather do it like, you know, when I'm completely happy. Um, but yeah, figure here is 10 out of 10. Absolutely blown away by her. Um, yeah, she's amazing and such a good sort of companion piece with this. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, thanks very much for watching. Thanks. Bye.